Good morning. This is Everyday Kentucky, and this is Off the Bench, sponsored by Purchase Pro, formerly KPC and Breaking Trail Jerky. I'm Brian Milam, and I am joined this morning by Amanda Purvis, a cheerleader with Woodford County, but also has a unique extracurricular activity we'll get to in a minute. But let's first start with cheerleading. When did you start? Why do you like to do it? And tell me about the emotional rush you get being in front of everyone uh, all the time. Um, so I started cheerleading in seventh grade. Um, I wanted to cheer in sixth grade, but my mom did not fill out the papers at first. <laughs> and I was super mad because I just wanted to cheer. So I've been cheering since seventh grade. Um, I love cheerleading because it's a big community and family sense because we're with these girls, I'm with these girls for two to three hours a day, right. six days a week. And so it, you just become so close and you all have a common goal of going to nationals and going to state and just winning. Well, I want to morph now into your extracurricular activities because Future Farmers of America, you deal with cattle, you deal with animals. How did you get started with this? And this is a pretty interesting hobby you have here. <laughs> um, so I got started in FFA my sophomore year um, because Ms. Probes and Mr. Richardson pushed me really hard to join FFA because I was already like starting to show then. Mm -hmm. um, and they just pushed me to join FFA, which was a great opportunity. I have so many opportunities through FFA that I wouldn't have without it. And um, showing cattle has just been such a big part of my life since my sophomore year, and I love every second of it. So when you say you show it, walk for someone who does not understand it, for someone who loves to go to the state fair, but yeah. does, does not understand the intricacies of what you do, walk me through that. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into showing a cow, so you have to wash them pretty like frequently, like right. daily, every other day, however <laughs> much. Um, clip them, you know, their, think of their hair as your hair. You want it to look nice, you right. want it to be fluffy, and um, we dye our heifers because they're black and they have like this red stance, so you like, hair dye them. Really? Um, and then the actual showing aspect, you have your show stick and you have your show halter and you walk in the ring. Um, you always want to look at the judge, make sure he's looking at you. You want to have that wow factor. Right. And you just walk around and you set up side by side so they get a back view of the animal. And then you walk back around and get a head to tail so they get a side view of your animal. Right. And then they place based on that. That sounds like fun because I like to learn, and again, going to the state fair when I was a kid. We all would always go into the wing where had all the animals. That's got to be a big thrill, especially if you win, right? Yes. So um, winning banners is one of the most rewarding things because you put hours and hours into these animals. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't pay off, but sometimes when it does, you just have that feeling like I made it. And it's rewarding. Well, thank you for joining us. You did make it. You made it to Off the Bench <laughs> this morning with us. That's Amanda Purvis. I'm Brian Milo. Thanks for watching Off the Bench. We'll see you next time. Off the Bench is sponsored by Purchase Pros, formerly KPC, and by Breaking Trail Jerky.